Ernst Howes was in his adolescence when World War II struck. This man, who has been acclaimed as one of the most influential photographers of the 20th century, started out in Vienna as a painter. He passionately pursued painting, but eventually pursued photography instead. It wasn't until after the war that Ernst Howes' photography really bloomed. Ernst Howes' first claim to fame was a photojournalist documentary called Returning War Prisoners. Returning War Prisoners highlighted discernibly touchy situations as war prisoners returned to their home countries. In the pictures, you can see emotional get-togethers. His first big work of photography made his photojournalist editor say, When I saw that first set of pictures, I knew I had stumbled upon a genius and I felt a chill up and down my spine. The main aim of this photojournalist feat was to produce a sense of angst and empathy for the returning war prisoners. And before we get ahead of ourselves, I'd like to thank the Howes Estate for generously providing all of these pictures for this documentary production. Without you, I would fail Photography 1050. Thank you. Despite Ernst's successes with black and white photography, he felt himself lusting, yearning to use color in his pictures. He then began to experiment with Kodachrome color film, a controversial step since photojournalism had always been done in black and white. Before we delve into Ernst Howes' journey into color photojournalism, it's important to also explore his photojournal, The Miracle of Greece. The Miracle in Greece highlighted both poverty and splendor in Greece.
Arndt's most influential artistic photo journal was his color first breakout into color photography. This journal seemed to express a new vibrancy and emotion that was more fitting for New York. This wasn't a sad photo story. This was the heart of civilization, the Big Apple, the juicy photo story of New York. Using color allowed Arndt to break a glass ceiling and truly capture a new emotion not before felt in photojournalistic photography. These images were praised for their composition and their abstract, artsy, edgy designs. As you look at some of his more colorful images, you begin to realize that the vibrance really does tell more of a story than his black and white pictures did before. Well, perhaps not more of a story, but a different story. Not one of reunited loved ones, but of a vibrant, hip, hoppin' city. Some consider Arnst's ability to use color one of his biggest career breakthroughs. His ability to use color allowed him to do abstract pictures like this one, where the reflection is very prevalent and it's very just... There's something about it. Recap, Arnst Howes began as a painter in Venice, and then he photographed pictures after the war of prisoners returning home. Eventually his lust for color enabled him to break through in his career and take pictures of New York that were considered phenomenal. 